Alright everybody, welcome back to the world's worst fishing. Sorry, there's a lot of noise. Laundry just never stops. So today we have a really exciting video. I have something new. This is a two-piece silicone injection mold. And uh, yeah, it's a lizard. And uh, this was sent to me by one of you guys, um, one of my um, viewers on the channel. Elliot from revamped here we go revamped outdoors YouTube channel so if you haven't checked them out check them out revamped outdoors he uh, he made a 3d printed master and then poured this silicone mold and it's two pieces I'll kind of show how it works as we go but oh my god party foul don't see that I just spilled my German beer we're off to a great start but anyway I'm really excited to make this. I haven't shot it yet. I cannot stand that noise. So we're gonna cut it here and get started. So as you can see, what we have here are obviously the two sides, and this is really firm silicone. It does not have a whole lot of give to it. And then we have these wooden plates and that allows you to get a nice even pressure trying to keep those two together um, so that you can inject and not get a bunch of mad flashing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some floating plastic. This is floating dead on plastic swim bait blend. And we're going to make some floating lizards. And I'm going to do a color um, that I developed years ago. It's called Mean Green. It's a simple color, but I think it's going to look really good in a lizard. It's a solid color, so we only need a single injector for right now. We'll probably do a laminate after a while. But uh, that's what we're going to get started with. We're going to nuke this for two and a half, three minutes. And then we'll meet you right back. All right, so mean green is a fairly simple color. We're gonna mix watermelon, okay, about half and half. So we're just gonna add a couple drops of watermelon here. Not too much, nothing outrageous, okay. And then emerald green right there, okay. Let's go ahead and add some of that. And you get a really, really beautiful green effect from mixing those two. If I can get the knife here. All right. Let's see. And the emerald green by itself has a lot of blue to it. So the so the watermelon pigment, which you can see, isn't mixed up all the way. Kind of uh, mitigates that and brings it back to a more traditional green. Yeah. See, that's that right there is looking nice. So I think we're actually gonna add a little bit more here so a little bit more watermelon thicken it up a little bit and then a little more emerald all right just to thicken things up make it a little more opaque okay yeah here's what we have nice shade of green and then all we're doing is adding some medium red 0 0.035 red flake all right and that's pretty much it so i'm gonna put the glitter up here now let's get her stirred in one last time There we have it. Mean green. All right, now we're ready to shoot a bait. All right, so we're gonna take our single injector. And because this is silicone, I don't wanna press too hard because flashing is already an issue. So I'm just gonna inject very slowly. <laughs> I mean, that is very slow. 
I'm not injecting hard, I'm just kind of holding some pressure. I've never shot a mold like this. Okay. I'm just going to top off that sprue there. Alright, hopefully that worked. I'm not sure. The plastic uh, was definitely hot enough, so I don't think it plugged, but we'll, we'll find out. So, hopefully that worked. Okay, we're going to take these off here. Oh, hold on, drop that. And of course a brand new mold, can't forget. All right, that's enough doodling. Let's see what we have. Just gonna take the whole thing off. And here we go. All right, definitely filled in. Let's, uh, I may have flashed it just a little bit here. That's all right. Ooh, I like how this thing has eyeballs. Yeah, here, check this out, guys. Look at that. It's like a, uh, it's it's almost like a plesiosaur, like a dinosaur. It's it it's it's like a Nessie. Loch Ness monster type lizard here. Let me pull off these little vent tabs. Ha! Check that out. Even has a hook slot in the top. I mean, he really put a lot of uh, a lot of thought into this. I like that. That is killer. And and look at the inside of the mold. Just the detail. You can see where he's put vents for air. He's got a nice uh, runner here. Five eighths inch sprue. I mean, this was really, really well executed. And uh, I think it makes a really cool bait. I mean, check this thing out. I've never seen another lizard that looked just like that. Could call it the, Lo the Loch Ness Monster. Ha <laughs> ha! That is freaking awesome. New molds, guys. New molds, new things. That's what this hobby is all about. Alright, yeah, so we're going to put this thing back together and you can see these little notches. They kind of line up. It goes together nicely. You put it back over these uh, bolts here. And you could probably just get a bunch of small clamps and just clamp all around the edges. Okay, that looks to be backwards. Hold on. There's a certain way that it goes. And I'm still learning, of course. There we go. Because <clears throat> we're going to make some more. I mean, you got to make more than just two baits when you get a new mold, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. Tell you what, new molds, new baits, calls for another sip of beer. All right. More mean green. Nice and slow. Holding a little pressure, yeah. Okay, I think that just might do it, y'all. I think that is a successful shot. Okay, perfect. And it's such a cool little green color. I like that one. All right, round number two here. Get this off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it definitely likes to flash right there, um, just on the air vents. That's actually a good thing uh, in this situation, I think, um, because that means that the air vents are doing a good job, bleh, are doing a good job of venting air. You'll see this from time to time on your aluminum molds, um, right where a vent takes off from an extremity. Sometimes you'll see a little teeny tiny tag. But uh, in this case, I don't mind it so much because that means that it's doing its job. So, that's a really cool wizard I've got. A couple of them here in the bath. Yep, floating lizards. All right, now we're gonna see how it laminates. We're gonna do a June bug top, okay, over a hot pink and huh, um, 
hologram sparkle bottom. So two complete ends of the spectrum here. All right, let's get the June bug mixed in. All right, looking okay. And then our pink, yeah, complete opposites here. But that's what makes it fun. Okay. Now we're going to add a little bit of flake. We're going to add just small green to the June bug side. We're not going to add all three sizes. I don't really need it. Okay. So there's some green. And then to the pink side, <clears throat> we're going to add some silver hologram. Okay. That stuff right there. All right, big scoop of that. This is gonna be one shiny lizard. Okay. Call this bait the Nessie bait, because it really is kind of shaped like a Loch Ness Monster. Okay. All right, got our June bug side, and we have our pink hologram side. That's a lot like electric chicken right there, that side. Okay. Just a little more black grape to <clears throat> thicken that up a smidge. It's a, it's a little thin on the knife, so I think we're... Yeah, there we go. All right, now it's time to shoot a bait. So, we're gonna change things up here with the camera angle, just slightly, of course. And I like to try and back up a smidge. All right, I think, I think that'll give us a nice view. All right, so since I'm laminating, I'm using the dual injector. I need both gloves, of course. And the top side is on the left side, I determined. So hopefully I determined that correctly. So we're just gonna kind of quickly give those a little hand stir. And here we go. Let's see how this bait laminates. All right, so. June bug on top, pink on bottom. Here we go. All right. I think it worked. I think it worked. Okay. That'll be real interesting right there. All right, drum break. See what we have. Did the lizard laminate? It did. Look at this. So the, uh, and what amazes me is how narrow, look at that y'all. Isn't that wild? That is wild. What amazes me is how narrow the gate is. <clears throat> but yet the cavity fills and there's no dents. You know, normally, you know, when, when you have a thin gate, a lot of air gets um, trapped up in the nose, but not the Loch Ness Monster. How about that? That is pretty cool. Here's just kind of another quick view. Oh, small dent right there, but that's fine. Some of that's probably operator error. That is freaking cool. All right, going in the bath. I think we're gonna make just a few more of those and uh, and then kind of have a look at what all we have. Okay, so here are the lizards. <laughs> that is freaking cool. And it does a really good even laminate, as you can tell. I mean, that is really well done. I mean, the bait is incredibly well made. We'll flip that one over to add some pink to our palette here. But that's... <laughs> That is a cool bait, y'all. I mean, thank you so much, man, for sending me this mold. That was a very, very pleasant surprise. And uh, again, revamped outdoors. Check him out. He's uh, obviously doing some cool stuff. There is no doubt about that. Quick little tank test on a shaky head. 
<laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, hold on. Yeah, it's kind of swimming around a little bit. That's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Well, guys, uh, that's uh, that's the the Nessie Loch Ness monster lizard right there. Uh, a really cool mold idea. Where is that thing? Yeah. So I've seen a couple of these just kind of here and there, two-piece injection silicone molds. I've never had one and I've never used one. So now I have, and uh, that was really cool. You know, if you have the means to uh, to produce something like this, and, and I could, I'll probably try it at some point. Um, just for video sake just so that you know we can try and learn that um, <clears throat> you know this is a really well executed version of it um, mine probably won't be this nice but uh, you know there's always a learning curve for that kind of thing but uh, it's a really really cool bait and uh, here are the, here are the other ones so I think it's a really neat idea it's a great bait hopefully you guys enjoyed the video I've never seen a mold like that and uh, yeah I thought it was thought it was pretty cool. Holler around me below, let me know what you think, and we'll see you next time. Well, so I'm trying to make the thumbnail for this video. <laughs> so I need to put in the new picture of the uh, lizards here. Let me see. Should be on the desktop. Where are we at here? Here we go. Yeah. Let's see. Send it back and it'll it'll kind of do that So we could put new New mold And oops a seven hmm, that's all right and New baits I don't know. Uh, New baits New mold, new bin. Nah, that's that's garbage. There we go. Awesome custom lizard, because that's what it is. So I think that's pretty cool. We'll go ahead and export this over to uh, JPEG. So it's gonna go. Where is it? Lizard. So that'll be our thumbnail. All right, and we are done with that. So, yep. So yeah, I'm uh, putting the video together right now, and hopefully I'll be done with this soon.